Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people of God. I welcome you all to Zibeji's blog. Today's is about a preaching by Apostle Selman. He preached about faith. Are you actually strong in your faith? When you have a problem, do you run to your boss to to get money or do your boss sleep with you? You need to watch this is for every man and women. Watch this and be blessed and Let's comment in the section below what you feel about the message. Thank you. God bless you. Going to do it again. She's going to do it again. And the God of all flesh looks down from heaven and he's watching the foolishness and the pride of men. Someone looks at this and says, be careful. You have five ladies. You are in a relationship. You are a Christian. Have just one relationship. And he's talking. And while the man is talking, he looks at another woman who passes from his office. And he ah, in Jesus' name. And he, he forgives himself. No, in Jesus' name, I will be faithful. You, you got it. But your humanity came. You, you, you don't... I'm sorry. I wish I were lying. I would have just said I'm sorry. But it's true. Let me round up by telling you a story that changed my life. Thank you for the time. Please sit. Pastor, when I started ministry, I counseled I had the privilege of counseling a woman and the woman made a statement and she told me that they were in a serious financial situation like a an acute financial situation it had to do with you know it, it was a life and death issue anyway and they needed X amount of money and it was very serious and so she had discussed with her husband things would not work and you know they didn't want to lose the lives that were on the line and she resorted to go and meet her boss and request for a raise explain the situation and the man according to the whole thing was not a believer you know what I'm talking about and now she went to this man and cried her heart like a dear woman in pain and travail would do please help me sir I need a raise lives are about to die a b c d and then the man looked at her and said you are not a small girl when you want a raise you know what to do period and that was it and she vowed and said no god forbid i'm a married woman my husband i rather die and all of that and she left when the situation got serious and he was going to literally, she was going to lose the persons involved and they were going to die no more. She opened up to her husband and told him, sir, there is a way to get this money. What is a terrible thing. And this man spoke to me. Both of them cried and cried and cried and agreed that instead of this person dying, I'm your husband. I don't consider it unfaithfulness please whatever you would do now when i heard that thing the painful part is that everything went on and so on and so forth it's easy for you like you are hearing ah god forbid be careful be careful you see please i want you to understand my heart as you hear me cry and talk so that you will leave this service today with a new way of looking at men Someone will be shouting at you and you will not even quarrel them again. You say, just go and listen to the message I listen to. And meet me at the other side of my meditation. Your, your shouting is a, is a revelation of a, a deficiency of an understanding. Listen. The woman was broken. When I heard that, I nodded my head and I said, life. Now, if that story were to happen in our generation i know what we'll do madam god forbid stupid woman useless woman 
blah 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 and while we are talking that nonsense God in heaven this is why sometimes when God keeps quiet you should be quiet too because God knows what he's seeing that you are not seeing are we together you are my brother and yet you could not give my child a job may God punish you may God do this you are in a position to give my child a job and the person is trying to explain to you look you will not understand what is it that I will not understand about what is it to sign you gave other people I'm trying to explain look the nature of my office what is it and then God teaches you a lesson by promoting you you call it breakthrough for a while but he will promote you in an office where you are the only Christian and he will position four people who desperately need jobs church members and he will make sure you announce the testimony in the presence of everybody and now they meet you and say how far six months and you've not given these people jobs you say well I'm, I'm working on it and then God will say I brought you to this point to build in you compassion that is easier said than done when you were talking about somebody in a position you do not know the challenges that they go through this is exactly what we have said about our fathers oh look at this error oh look at this error oh and many times it's even surprising that it's with the young people who are advocating these things we've not started oh we've not built anything we've not done anything we've not raised anybody and yet we are so outspokenly arrogant fathers come and say lift up your hands and we stand in our arrogance this man have edited all your messages i know the 35 percent that makes sense the remaining is just rubbish i'm dealing with that well lift up your hands for what but i know the five ways to receive impartation and we stand there in our foolishness and our pride this message this morning is a charge it's a bit hard will be soft in the evening but the goal is to file us listen to me my brothers and my sisters god is building us because this is how oil comes from olive it is placed in a threshing floor god loves you too much to leave you the way you are and so he's doing this in this message today is a salve the salvation of many people's children you will be surprised how your life will change and people will ask you what happened and you say come let's go to church we don't get this as i would say in a bank we don't get this in a classroom we only get this in the house of god hallelujah praise the lord please rise We're going to do two things very quickly. Please give me volume. Number one, prophetically, as I sing this song, you're going to leave your seat where you are. Don't, don't come and waylay the ministers. Disclaimer, don't cross here. Just greet yourselves. You're going to walk around and look for someone. You don't need to know who the person is and just hold if it is to cry cry if it's to greet just let them know that look i now understand we are men i don't know what pain i know people are crying i don't know what you are facing but there's nothing to be ashamed of we are men the mercy of god is a system that remedies your being a man there are people right now who are, who are here maybe with diseases that are killer diseases and it is your greeting your hugging your celebrating them that will let them finally know that i will not be ashamed to go and see a doctor tomorrow i'm going to the hospital i believe god but i can go to the hospital and say doctor i'm a man of faith but please check me can i be walked on there are people here who are in all kinds of financial situations yet the Bible remains true that you are the head and not the tail it's not a contrast keep your faith alive 
but have the fortitude to outsource the wisdom that you will need that will take you out of that there are people here who are trusting god they love god yes you will be a mother of nations but no man has come to you to say my my sister i wanted to say my daughter my my sister you are beautiful let me go and see your parents it's easy to say no problem i don't care very soon your humanity will reveal that you care and so there's nothing to be ashamed of you're going to walk around and whether it is to hug just greet just tell people look god understands i understand now the problem has never been god the problem is us we have refused to understand i spoke to you about your failed business and i said god forbid you are not wise but now i understand there is no room we we quarreled two days ago and i didn't know that you had your mother died and that was why you were so moody now i know that you are human you are still a businessman you are still a man of god this is how far god can go we are not acting it is prophetic we are releasing something from this place to the body of christ to say it is time for us to rearrange things it is time for us to come to a point where we are the first to rally around people that when soldiers are wounded in the body the only condition listen to me i'll be sharing with you that negates the operation of god's mercy is the hardness and the rebellion of a man's heart mercy is useless until brokenness is in place this is already a teaser into the other parts so please what you are hearing now is not all of it there is another side to it that will give balance to what we are teaching my teaching this afternoon is a revelation of the reality that we are men and if god can stoop down from heaven and come to us as men we as men don't need to stoop down we don't we just need to reach out and there is another man close to you who is crying and hurting this is not some emotional talk there are many men of god broken there are many people who cannot cry to anybody they come and open up to people and the next thing their stories are all over the world sir i'm so sorry i was under pressure i took from church money i took this i i vowed that i will i will i will restore this I'm, i was under pressure i need counseling and i need prayer and the next thing you call everybody from there and say the next time you see this man near your offering envelope run away it is true that jesus died but he only died for three days he did not die forever so while you are talking about jesus the dead heaven is celebrating jesus not only the resurrected but jesus the one who is sitting on the throne jesus only died for three days so when men die before you check talk whether they've come alive or they are still dead don't be like the two men in emmaus talking about the jesus that was dead whereas he's already alive i know that last year the man was not a titer he was not faithful do you now understand his current dealings with god or are you talking about the man who is no longer alive i know that as at last year her father had not given his life to christ and while you are calling the family a hedonistic family god had already sent an evangelist during christmas and all of them are now born again make sure you update your heart and your perception of men before you talk jesus died but he only died for three days he did not die forever so rejoice not over me my enemies that's a cry of a generation as a businessman as a man of god though i fall in the economy of god and through the mystery called mercy there is a provision to rise again is there hope for a tree even if it be cut short the bible says at the sound at the scent of water it will bud again are you ready the next two minutes walk around find someone you are going to sing and cry with someone for the next two minutes no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you won't Children. 
God is still coming. Don't give up. I know you are 10 years buried, but you will still have a chance. The person you are holding or hugging, you are going to pray with that person. You don't need to know what is wrong with that person. Lord, the grace to rise above the pain of the humanity of that person. Is someone praying at House of David? Pray. I don't know what bills may be on you, but in the name of Jesus, I agree with you here at this mercy conference. you are struggling to raise your children people have condemned you that your children will be useless but hear the word of the Lord there is hope for a tree man of God you used to be in ministry but now it's like the grace has gone don't give up you can start again you can rise again you can thrive again the relationship what will lead to marriage now you are surprised seven relationships no marriage don't be discouraged you've been in Lagos five years no job don't be discouraged there is a God of heaven men may talk your loved ones will talk your past will talk but there is a God in heaven who is still the lifter of man No shadow he will light up, mountain he will climb up, coming up today. No more you won't get down, die you won't sit down, coming up today. There's no shadow he will light up, no shadow he will light up, mountain he will climb up, coming up today. You will light up. No shadow, you will light up. Mountain, you will climb up. Coming up to me. Hallelujah. Let's look up one more prayer point and I drop the mic. Everyone, please look. The Bible says, let me not go ahead of myself. Please don't miss the remaining sessions. It says, look up please. It says, the Lord is gracious and compassionate. Many people are crying. Listen, don't be ashamed of your tears. For once, be in a place where you can be accepted as you are. Where nobody is asking you questions. Why are your children not well behaved? There is, you turn here and everybody, you are the, the example that they use when they are talking about indisciplined children. Let men talk while God does the changes. When they see the newer version of you, it will surprise men. Listen, every other thing is allowed to remain on its own except that god will not let it so god will insist till your life becomes a reflection of his glory you are going to pray a prayer lord from today the grace to be a sower of the seeds of mercy listen some of you will need to go back and call people and say i'm sorry I was the first person to talk about your marriage. You heard the news around, it came, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm the first to tell men, every man who wants to come to marry you, I'm the one who tells them that you have a terrible past. They should not waste their time. Some of you may need to go back to God and say, Lord, help me. I've sown seeds of discord. I'm the one who has made church members, I've scattered churches, I've caused troubles. There is nothing to be ashamed of some of you need to call your parents and say mommy i'm sorry i stood in my pride because i went to school and traveled abroad and i looked at you and daddy and i felt that you people did not do a good job now that i have only one child 
I'm learning the seriousness of motherhood. I repent. So, see, you can kill a seed before the harvest comes. And your prayer now is. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, subscribe, and comment and share this.